and PrivateRFX. Coming at you on a Monday, a confusing Monday for us. Uh, did not really expect this dollar yen move. Um, got splashed. See this gap open. 136.70, we'll call it. Opened at 17, traded down to basically 77. Um, and and kind of looks like shit still. Dollarian looks like uh, she wants to do some testing. Get the BOJ tomorrow. Um, there's all kinds of talk about they're going to change inflation targets and whatnot. I, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. I do know the 200-day uh, moving average is here. And this could be troubling for longs. Um, we have no real news today. Uh, the calendar's pretty bare. I don't know what's going to drive this, but sometimes, if you remember, uh, the last time we went through this thing was that, uh, I guess it was this day, yeah, Friday the 2nd, was was the morning of non-farms, and they just smashed dollar yen out of the blue. Uh, not saying they're going to do that today, but it does look like they're going to test this. There will be long-term signals, as always. This never changes. Um, at the 200-day, uh, 135.63.5 right now. So just keep an eye on that. Um, could be interesting. Aussie Yen, this is either a mega double bottom or this could even be a break trade if you want to hit the left-hand side. 91.07. CAD Yen also has a similar pattern here. Um, I guess this low here, 30, 99.30. Today's low, 26, not as clean. Um, so if you see today, we've already just been through this at the open, but CAD Yen and Aussie Yen toying with the bottoms of the range. Uh, we're not touching either of those. We're still just not really sure what the hell is going on with this dollar yen, so we're leaving it alone. One of our focuses today is Aussie higher. Basically, we think stocks are going to be higher, and this is the correlation. This is the trade risk on, and Aussie is fine. The one wrench that could be thrown into this is all of the sort of spooky news out of China about uh, COVID lies and how many people are, are dying according to uh, funeral parlor statistics which I don't know how Bloomberg seems to be getting those, but uh, I guess you just call up a funeral parlor and be like, uh, how many people are taking a dirt nap today? And what do you think was the cause? Um, that could be a bit of a wrench, but 23 was the high in Aussie overnight. Um, we talked about this on Friday, 75 holding. Um, and this is the neckline up here, which isn't as good because 50 is going to be resistance. So 35 neckline's not that good. We're just going to try and keep an eye on stocks and maybe try and um, pick up some Aussie today. Rates aren't doing too much. 351, tens don't really know what to do. Um, one of the themes going into next year is is going to be the U.S. debt pile, 31 trillion, and what the fuck are we going to do with that? Um, could be very, very bearish uh, for the U.S. dollar if if the market wraps their head around that, gets that bit between their teeth. People have been just pushing it under the rug for years, um, but uh, we got a few little messages in our emails and a few little messages on our uh, DMs starting talking about this. People. People who are real people in the market who are now, you know, basically thinkers in the market who are bringing this up. Uh, I'm not saying these guys are the smartest people in the world, but this is a psychology game, right? Like, so if everybody's thinking it, therefore it's true. It actually doesn't have to be true. Think of some of the idiotic correlation trades that go through in FX. They only work because they work. They don't work because it actually makes sense. One of my favorites over the years was Euro Yen and equities um, that worked for years made absolutely no sense but it worked so um, let's just see if this topic bubbles up and comes to fruition 
dollar cad uh, not much going on here uh, 136.40 support crude's been up and down I guess mainly down um, let's go to the dailies there Billy almost touched 78 back down to 73.30 now we're basically at 75 so really not doing too much dollar cad's just dancing to its own um, dancing to its own beat. We've got a lot of highs up here, uh, 137.05. Uh, that looks like a break trader's delight um, if we get some bad news out of Canada. We do have, what is it? We do have some CAD numbers. Today at 2.30, IPPI, RMPI, I don't even know what the fuck that is. Uh, looks like some sort of inflationary numbers. Um, I think the real CPI is out on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. But there is some weird shit out of CAD today. It doesn't look like anyone cares, but keep an eye on that. Euro's a tug of war here. Uh, obviously, this is ECB day. She was bullish. No one believed her. Everyone thinks the ECB is fucking the entire region um, by tightening into the winter and into a weakening economy we closed on the lows um, Friday now we're just back in the middle here nothing to do with euro today same with euro sterling nothing to do here turn day on uh, Friday but uh, nothing to do with this cable 121.10 is your lower bound here, and, and there should be some stops below that. Um, this could float higher, right? And now we just play around on this sort of what you call light pre-Christmas week. Dollar Swiss, uh, if you kept your low ones from last week, you're just chilling. Um, but it's like not crazy joy, right? So if you bought 92.60s, you're here at 93.16. It just goes back to the fact that dollar Swiss fall is is uh, pretty low, and um, you know if you like a lower volatility version of dollar yen, dollar Swiss uh, kind of works out that way. You could still buy low ones. I don't think you're going to get a chance to buy low ones today. Um, it's not on our frontal lobe, dollar Swiss right now. We're just putting it aside. This Euro Aussie, um, this was ECB day, extension up to 159.20. Um, this looks like it's turned and should mean revert, right? So this is your two and a half sigma, which did not work on ECB day. I tell you that for free. Um, 157.40s, you had to wear that to 159.20 if you held that, but your risk reward just gets totally fucking upside down but now that it looks like it's turned on Friday and, and I think Aussie's going to head higher today Euro Aussie could be your horse today depending on you know what you feel comfortable with Aussie N is, is a trickier trickier show pony right because dollar yen could do something silly um, but for now it looks like this double bottom is intact if you're hawkish on this or bullish on this, the risk reward is okay. You just have to leave a stop at 08. So you're buying 24s, you leave a stop at 08, 16 pips. Uh, if this is a proper double bottom and, and uh, dollar yen and Aussie go higher, you could easily, you know, risk your 16 to make 100. Um, and so in that sense, these are the setups. This is a, not a bad setup. On a risk reward basis, I just don't think. Uh, Dollar yen just looks weird to me today, so I'm just kind of staying away from it. I don't really understand. Uh, it's just she's in, she's in a weird mood. Um, it feels like that that 200 day is going to get targeted, um, but who knows? Kiwi um, offered. I don't know why. Like it just really hasn't can't get out of its way here. Uh, just less bid than um, than Aussie. If you look at Aussie Kiwi, it's higher. Uh, pivot here at 64 cents, but Kiwi doesn't. Kiwi looks a bit sick. Nothing else to really care about here. Dollars are uh, not doing too much.
I'm going to start trading this again. Uh, get back in the zone. We're still right in the middle of this news bar uh, on the upper end of it. Looks like there's some more news out of uh, South, no more bad news out of South Africa. We'll see. Um, and then uh, Sinaloa cartel stuff is not doing much either. Basically, we're going to try and be long Aussie today. It's uh, 0910 right now. We're keeping an eye on stocks. We may uh, we may roll with some short Euro Aussie as well. Uh, but it looks like Aussie dollar is going to be our horse. That's all I got. Uh, good luck out there, people. Make some dough. You deserve it. Cheers.